All right, my friends, what you are looking at is a hot steaming boiled chicken straight out of the pot. So I do keep whole chickens in the freezer and I do still boil my chicken and shred it. Yes, it's a total pain. Yes, it is super time consuming. But to me, the flavor of the different parts of the chicken versus just the chicken breast is so worth it. And you pay about, I don't know, $1.50 a pound versus three something for chicken breasts, which don't get me wrong, if it wasn't a Sunday and I wasn't off, if I had to go to work today, I would definitely have done chicken breast. But one of my kiddos woke up this morning and said his throat hurt. He's fine now. Um, so, you know, I told him I would make him some soup. So that's what I did. I'm making him chicken. I was gonna make him chicken tortilla soup, but I decided to make chicken enchilada soup. So that's what we're gonna have. So the first thing you're gonna do is boil your chicken. It takes about two episodes of your favorite TV show to boil this thing, maybe three episodes, depending how big it is. And now we're gonna get to shredding. So one of the things about shredding a chicken is to me, you get a lot of chicken. That's just the breast, I haven't even turned it over. But I wanna say, make sure that you take out the heart and the lungs and all of that good stuff before you boil it. If not, it won't be as good, um, which means that you need to fully thaw your chicken before you boil it so you can get those things out. So I don't actually touch the chicken because it's hot. So I just use a knife and then I use two forks and I would show you, but I can't do that and hold the camera but I just kind of pull it off like this um, because it's so hot and I don't know, I think it's kind of gross when you touch the food that everybody's gonna eat even though my hands are clean. And of course I have my trash bag near me so I can throw some stuff away. So as I shred it, I'll just put it over here in this bowl and this will be enough for a couple of meals. So I'll use this for, this chicken was about I think $9 I paid. Um, which yeah, I've been buying these for a long time and that's super expensive. But anyway, um, I'll do the chicken enchilada soup tonight with this. And then I don't know yet what I'll do later this week with the rest of it. So I'm going to keep, keep shredding. Okay. So for this soup, um, I've got our chicken shredded. These are our ingredients. We've got oil. We've got, this is chili powder, garlic powder, onion powder, cream cheese, a lime, keep limes always stocked in the refrigerator too because I do a lot of Mexican food. I'm down to my last one. You can see it's got to be used today. More chicken broth, diced tomatoes, cumin, cheddar, and uh, you can use gar um, jalapeno peppers, but I prefer serrano peppers. So I always have serrano peppers in there too. And fresh garlic. I always use fresh garlic. Never use stuff out of the container unless I'm in a super big hurry but I'm out right now so that's what you get. Do not be afraid to use spices. Garlic powder and onion powder have a home in every single recipe as far as I'm concerned. Oh one more thing red enchilada sauce back there okay that needs to go because it's enchilada soup. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cook I'm going to dice up the onions and the serrano peppers and we're gonna cook those in some butter and olive oil in a stock pot. And um, our cream cheese is getting soft because you're gonna want that softened because you wanna cube it. And so we're gonna first soften the onions and serrano peppers, and then we'll kind of add everything else in the pot and that's gonna be our soup. Now, if you want to do a soup with black beans. You can do black beans in this. You can do corn in this. You can put some hot sauce in it. Um, you can put, you don't have to use cheddar cheese. You can use Monterey Jack cheese. Um, really, it's just up to your taste. These are the main things though, okay? So it's gonna go pretty quick. So I, again, I'm not gonna use all this. Um, so let me start dicing and then we'll put it together. Okay, let me see if I can let me see if I can show y'all how to do the garlic. I put my knife on it. This is garlic powder that spilled. And then I kind of hit it. It's kind of hard to do. And then the peel will come right off. Doing this with one hand. It'll peel right off like this. And then I'm again, I'm throwing this into my trash bag so I don't make a mess. 
and then I chop this up. And I don't even necessarily, I used to do it, I used to do a garlic um, press and, you know, mince the garlic. I don't even worry about, oops, I don't even worry about mincing it anymore because it's, it's good like this. So now I'll do, I'll chop that up pretty small um, and mix it in with my onions and serranos. And these are really little onions. I don't know if you can tell. The reason they're so tiny is because I buy onions by the pound in the bag. So I'll buy a big bag of onions because again, that's something that, you know, when you don't have any food and you gotta whip something up, gotta have onions in there. So those are really small. If I were buying individual onions, they tend to be a little bigger, so I'd probably only use one. And I love onions. All right, here we go. Okay, so I'm melting the butter with the oil. Once that gets melted, I'll add in the onions, the serrano peppers, and the garlic, and let those soften. All right, our onions are nice and soft. I turned the heat down a little bit. And now I'm gonna add in onion powder, just a little bit there. I'm gonna add in some garlic powder. Garlic powder is really good. Now I did use obviously fresh onion and fresh garlic, but I still like to add a little bit in there. This is a little bit of red pepper. If you've never made homemade enchilada sauce, that is the key. Then we're making enchilada soup and then a little bit of cumin. I love cumin, it's one of my favorite spices. Again, I cook a lot of Mexican food, so these are kind of like my staples. Don't be afraid to use spices. That's looking really good. Now I can add in my enchilada sauce, or I can add in, actually I'm gonna add in my chicken broth next. This calls for four cups of chicken broth. That's one carton of chicken broth. So let's add that, just to kind of slow those onions down a little bit so they don't overcook. I, have, I didn't add it all. I'm gonna add some chicken. Remember I already shredded my chicken. This is about a half of a whole chicken because I'm gonna use the rest for another recipe. So um, again, like you want more chicken, put more chicken. You want less, put less, depending on what your family is going to eat. <clears throat> My family likes to eat, so. I actually might wanna add a little bit more. Add some chicken breast, that looked all like dark meat. Then I'm gonna add the enchilada sauce. I'm gonna finish adding the chicken broth. Give that a good stir, mix all those flavors together. I'm gonna let that come to a, just a slow boil to get those flavors mixed. Oh, almost forgot my tomatoes. We're gonna add a can of diced tomatoes with green chilies. And again, you can really put in anything you want. I will tell you, I bought Great Value brand, and I usually don't buy Great Value brand, but I don't know why I decided to buy Great Value brand, and I can tell a difference. Sorry, Walmart. I won't be doing that again. Um, now, as far as the lime, you can squeeze the lime in here. I'm gonna wait and squeeze the lime on top of mine because I like the lime flavor. The last thing I'm adding is I'm gonna add four ounces of cream cheese. Oops, this is not easy to do. Okay, so I'm gonna let that melt. That's just gonna make it creamy. That's what makes it the creamy enchilada soup. 
and I only added four ounces of that so that's half of a stick so if your kids are into bagels and you got cream cheese there you go grab the rest of what you got left and throw it in here mm, that's looking good it smells delicious now in another video I made some Spanish rice tonight so what I'll probably do is put some Spanish rice on the bottom of my bowl and mix in some Spanish rice um, you can see another video for the Spanish rice. Um, so the thing about having the Spanish rice on hand is, you know, again, when you say you have nothing to eat, go get a bowl of rice. And you can add, you know, some soup to it and you got a meal. So we'll let this finish cooking, let that cream cheese kind of melt up in there so um, it can all come together and then we'll come back. Okay, so it's starting to come to a boil. I went ahead and added some cheddar cheese in there just to make it a little thicker. Um, you could have, I could have added more cream cheese. I could have added Monterey Jack cheese. Really just whatever you have in your refrigerator. Um, like I said, I tend to keep Feta cheese, well, I've said on a previous video, I tend to keep feta cheese and Monterey Jack um, and cheddar in my refrigerator at all times, so I could have added any of those. So as it comes down to a boil, we'll start scooping it out and there's your creamy enchilada soup cream cheese hasn't quite melted all the way in there. So I'm gonna give that just a few more minutes and then we'll be ready to serve. And I'm gonna top this with some cilantro and some uh, lime juice and some more cheddar cheese. So let's go over what all we had in here. We have chicken, we have serrano peppers, onions, diced tomatoes, some spices, chicken broth, cream cheese, and cheese. So all of those things you may have in your pantry or your refrigerator right now, and you could whip up some creamy chicken enchilada soup. Now, the great thing about this is I reserved the chicken broth from the chicken that I boiled because this morning when my son woke up, we were getting ready for church and he said, my throat really hurts and so I, anyway I let him end up going back to bed and he woke up and he's fine but if you know he ends up not feeling well this week I'll pull that homemade I add a little pepper in here I'll end up adding that homemade chicken noodle soup to some egg noodles and we'll have and I'll dice up some carrots and we'll have some homemade chicken noodle soup and I don't have to go through the hassle of boiling it again so that's another great thing. Do not throw out your chicken broth. Okay. All right. I'll let you know. I'll, I'll post a picture when we're done. Let you know how it tastes. Thanks for watching.